click on the create API key and add to usage plan button. Then give your API key a name. I'm going to select the auto generate option, hit save, then navigate to the API keys tab. Go inside the API key that we just created, then click on show to view and copy your API key. Consider this, you have a bunch of APIs deployed using the AWS API gateway, and now you want to configure usage plans and API keys for your customers. Can you do this using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on the test button, then hit invoke to confirm that your Lambda function is working as expected. Next, let's navigate to the API gateway service, click on create API, then hit build in the rest API section. Give your API a name, hit create, then choose create method from the actions dropdown. Select the post method, then make sure the integration type is set to lambda function. Choose the lambda function that we just created, hit save, then click on the test button to test your post method. Confirm that you see hello from lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown, then click on deploy API. I'm going to create a new deployment stage called dev, then hit deploy. Next. Let's copy the invoke URL and fire up the Postman software. Click on the plus button to start a new request. Choose post from the dropdown, then paste the invoke URL. Hit send and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Next, let's head to the API gateway window and click on usage plans in the left menu, then hit create. Give your usage plan a name, enter number of requests in the throttling and the quota section, then click on next. Click on the add API stage button, choose the API and the dev stage that we just created, then click on next. Click on the create API key and add to usage plan button, then give your API key a name. I'm going to select the auto generate option, hit save, then navigate to the API keys tab. Go inside the API key that we just created, then click on show to view and copy your API key. Next, let's go back to the post method screen of our test API, then go inside the method request. Change the API required option to true, then go to the Actions dropdown and hit Deploy API. Let's deploy to the same dev stage, then navigate back to the Postman window. Give it a few minutes for the change to propagate, then hit the Send button again. This time, you should see a forbidden message in the response body. Let's fix this by navigating to the Headers tab and adding a new key called X-API dash key. For value, I'm going to copy paste the API key that we generated earlier, then hit the send button again. Now your API should work as expected, and you should see hello from Lambda in the response body. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why do AWS API gateway engineers make great comedians?